Steve with Dabble Lab, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get a user's name, email address, and mobile phone number for use in a custom Alexa skill. And we're going to do this using a template from DabbleLab.com. So if you're not watching this video on DabbleLab.com, the starting point is to head over to DabbleLab.com and go to the templates menu. And we're going to be using template number seven, this one here, Alexa Customer Information Skill Template. So you want to download that template. And to download the uh, template code, you're going to need to log in. Um, the accounts are free, so if you don't have one, you can just use this link down here, need an account, and you can create one. There's no credit card or anything required. And once you log in, you'll have access to the template details page, which will include a tutorial video for all of the uh, templates. And that's what you're watching right now. And also uh, a link to download the source code. And this is new, a um, section where you can ask questions or, or leave comments if you run into anything along the way or want to provide some feedback. So for starters, we're going to just download the source code. It's going to download as a zip file. So after you've downloaded it, you want to unzip it. And then all of the code that we're going to need is inside this folder. And the code is set up where it can be used with the Alexa skills kit command line interface, the ask CLI. But we've also updated the, the templates recently so that they can be used with Alexa hosted skills as well. And so if you're not familiar with the ask CLI, you can just use the Alexa developer console and do everything through your browser. And that's what I'm going to show you today, because that's sort of the, the, the easiest way to go at it. So we're going to start by creating an Alexa hosted skill. So you want to go to developer.amazon.com and log in. If you don't have an Amazon developer account, you can create one. They're free also and don't require a credit card or anything. And then after you've logged in, you want to uh, go to the developer console or to uh, Alexa here and then up to this little menu and then find the Alexa developer console here. And that will take you to the Alexa developer console, which would, if you have skills, will would show a list of the skills that you have. I'm using a, a blank account now. so. You should, if you don't have any skills, see something that looks like this, and then you want to create a skill here. And we're going to just call this demo skill. And it's a custom skill, which is selected by default. And then down here, the method to host the skills back in. The default is provision your own, but we're going to use the Alexa hosted option for Node.js. And this will set up a Lambda backend, but that's all provisioned for you as part of the uh, Alexa developer console. So you don't need an AWS account and it's free, which is great. And so uh, that's why we are going to use this. So select that and then go up here and click the create skill. And this takes about a minute for the skill to be set up and the backend to be provisioned. So while that's happening, we'll go back to the, uh, the source code that we downloaded, the template source code, and just talk about what we're gonna need uh, from the template. We're gonna need two things for this template. We're gonna need the uh, interaction model, which is this en-us.json um, file, and then this index.js, which is the Lambda code. And for most of the templates, those are the two files that you need. For some of the, the, the templates, there's some uh, additional files but you can open these and just copy and paste the code using any text editor. In the case of the interaction model, you can also drag and drop it to, uh, to upload it. And I'll show you that. So the skill is all provisioned and, and ready to be edited. And so we'll go back to the developer console here and then go over to the JSON editor. And here is the, uh, the default interaction model, but we want to replace it with the interaction model from our template. So we just want to drag that file over here. Again, you could just open it and copy and paste everything to replace the uh, default interaction model. The invocation name for the, uh, the templates starts with template and then the template number. So this one is template seven, so it's template seven like that. If you were using this template as the basis for a, uh, a personal skill that you were gonna actually publish, then of course you would wanna change that. But for now, that's fine. We'll use that for our testing. So um, click Save and then Build Model. And it will take a few, uh, few 
seconds for the model to build. So while that's happening, we'll go get the code for our Lambda function. So again, that's in the um, template that's in the Lambda custom folder and it's this index.js file. And so you just wanna open that up with a text editor. Uh, you could use Notepad or text edit or your code editor of choice. I'm gonna use Visual Studio Code. And um, then you wanna just select all of the code and copy that. So just like that. And then you wanna head back over to the developer console and go to the code menu, code editor. And we're gonna be replacing the code in this index.js file, which is the file that's open by default. So we wanna select all of it. And then we just wanna paste right over it with the code that we copied from our template. And so, um, talk through what's going on here. I'll save the code and deploy it. There is one other important step for getting this template to work, and that is um, uh, configuring the skill to ask the user for permission to read their name, their email address, and their mobile phone number. And where you would do that is over here, you go to build, and then uh, scroll down to permissions here. And there are three permissions that we're gonna need. We're gonna need the um, uh, full name, email address, and the phone number. And so um, with those toggled on, we're ready to test, but there is one other thing in this case that I wanna show you that we are probably gonna need to do. We'll go to test first, and we'll toggle testing on for development but in some case, it's, so in this case here, we need permission to read that stuff. So we'll, we'll try it out, Let's see what happens. Hello, you can say, what's my name? What's my email? Or what's my phone number? I'll say, what's my name? Please enable profile permissions in the Amazon Alexa app. So you can see now, um, in this case, the, the skill doesn't have permission to access the user's name. So when the user enables the skill, they're gonna to need to also provide uh, permission to access them, this information. So they would do that in the Alexa companion app, which is usually like the iOS or Android app that they use. But there's also a web version of the companion app, which is at alexa.amazon.com. And so that's what I'm logged into now. And you can see here, the um, uh, we need to um, provide, where is it? Uh, it doesn't show it here, but what we need to do is we need to go to our skills and then our skills and then dev skills and then find that demo skill here and go to settings. And then you see these permissions are not enabled by default. So we want to go to manage permissions. Oh, we've got to log in. And then we need to toggle these on to allow the skill to, uh, to use this. And if the user was enabling the skill from their, uh, their companion app, it would prompt them for to these options as it was happening. So they wouldn't have to know to go do this thankfully, and then save permissions. And now if we go back and uh, test the template again. Hello, you can say, what's my name? What's my email? Or what's my phone number? Try it again. Your name is Steve Tingyris. And I'll test it with the other ones. Hello, you can say, what's my name? What's my email? Or what's my phone number? Your email is steve at dabblelab.com. And we'll test the phone number, the last thing, so. Hello, you can say, what's my name? What's my email? Or what's my phone number?
Your mobile number is 813-575-0530. And that is, uh, that's it. That is getting uh, contact information, phone number, and uh, an email or contact name, phone number, and email in a custom Alexa skill. Hopefully that was helpful. Again, if you have any questions as you're working through this, you can leave those here in the comments and we'll respond just as quickly as possible. And thanks so much for watching.